Um, well, when I saw the video the last time, it, it didn't appear that anybody could hear, anybody could, could see. No, you couldn't hear. So. I have a problem hearing. I got two hearing aids. <laughs> I'm a disabled veteran and I can't hear hardly anything. So. And we all sat out here last time and we couldn't hear. Well, we might as well go around. Well, Let's just wrap you, around the desk. 15, well, yeah. You got a 15 person capacity in the room, I think it is. Well, that's fine. Let the big guys go in. You're more than welcome. Let's make it happen. By all means, you had a long drive. Okay, we'll come back. I'll go in the corner. Come in with you. Come in with you. Yeah, it says for the people. All right. Hi, how are you? Oh yes, we can all just come in. Let's just grab a chair and we'll all bring ourselves in so we can hear the meeting. Good night, all would fit in. Here. 15. Yeah, all the chairs are not fit in. Capacity of 15. So. Well then, we need to start accommodating these meetings then. Or you the meeting needs to be shut down and moved to a location that can fit everyone. Parking lot's fine with me. I got chairs and lawn chairs. Um, Rissy, sign my name, please. Sign my name, please. Hey, where's a senior at? Don. Where's senior at? Seems to be not here. Seems not here. He'll, be, he'll make it on time. Darla Les name Smith, right? Smith? Yes. Williams. Everybody get signed in? How's everybody this evening? Oh, here. That's okay. No, I don't No, I'm fine. <laughs> Go in there and sit down with that cup. You'll be 15, right? I'll be 15. That's it. Hi, Jenny. How are you? So if they take the sign down, then there's no room for that. I just saw that agenda. I'm going to open that. Uh, issues. I, I, we don't need to go into executive session. We can do it. But did you have 
I, I forgot the exact thing. Okay. okay. So. because we're going to set the special meetings next week. I'm, I've got stuff to talk to you about that at this time, and if there's not, I'll just be a call tomorrow about that agenda. <laughs> Pretty good. How are you doing? I've seen you a while. Oh, you've been on a good run. <laughs> Can I have a motion to second to approve the written minutes from the 8th to 13th, 2016 meeting? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Have a second. Roll call, please. <coughs> Chairman McCall? Yes. Trustee Smith? Yes. Trustee Millard? Yes. Trustee Powell? Yes. Trustee Touche Absent? Trustee Rattler Absent? Trustee Bolden? Absent. Can I have a motion to second to pay the bills for the month of April and May 2016? Motion. Mr. Mook, can I have a second? Second. Move a second. Roll call. <coughs> Chairman McCall? Yes. Trustee Smith? Yes. Trustee Millard? Yes. Trustee Powell? Yes. Trustee Touche? Absent. Trustee Rattler? Absent. Trustee Bowling? <coughs> motion passed. Okay. There's no old business. Under new business, I'd like to have a motion and a second to have the manager enter into a local debt recovery. We've been doing the local debt recovery, uh, trying to uh, have this, uh, it's an American, uh, no American. Recover. No, no services from the Illinois State Comptroller's Office. Okay, that's the other one. Yes. Where are we at on the American water? They are in the process of sending me over a draft contract. Okay, good, real good. Um, this is the uh, local debt recovery program that we have been talking about. And, uh, you know, they can go in there and garnish uh, your federal income tax, state income tax, and we need to get into that. Uh, so, can I have a motion to second to it? Have the manager in into that program? Make a motion. Remove. Can I have a second? Second. Move. Roll call, please. Chairman McCall? Yes. Trustee Smith? Yes. Trustee Malloy? Yes. Trustee Powell? Yes. Trustee Touche absent. Trustee Rather absent. Trustee Bowling absent. Motion passed. Mm -hmm. Also, can I have a motion a second to have the manager uh, go ahead and enter into the uh, accepting the grievance that was looked over by the, our attorney with the union? Uh, in reference to the grass uh, contract that uh, we have. And the uh, manager, along with the attorney, has been negotiating with local government. Can I have a motion or second? I'll make a motion. Can I have a second? Second. Mm -hmm. The move to second. Roll call, please. Chairman McCall. Yes. Trustee Smith. Yes. Trustee Millard. Yes. Trustee Powell. Yes. Trustee Touche absent. Trustee Rather absent. Trustee Bowden absent. Motion passed. Okay. Next on the agenda is the H and M backo. It's Greg uh, Eisenheifer. Is you here, Greg? Yes. Great, Greg. Okay. Um, this in reference to the project that we have on Judith and Amelia, and you're the contractor that uh, for that project yes. out there. And of course, as you know, that we have uh, been dealing with that project for uh, how long? You've been out there now. At that particular site. At that particular site. Yes, maybe six months. Maybe six months. And uh, we want to know what is the status out there, how much longer <coughs> is it going to be out there. Uh, I can tell you from 
the uh, chairman of this board and uh, speaking on behalf of this board, uh, I know that we've had quite a bit of rain, but I'm just going to tell you that six months is not acceptable for this board. Uh, the, the individuals that lives out there, we constantly getting some complaints from citizens out there uh, in reference to this project. They're frustrated with it. I'm frustrated with it. The board is frustrated with it. And we want to know how long, how longer it's going to be before this project is, is complete. I'm hoping to start up, and I'm asking if this is permissible, start up July 15th, waiting for the water table to go down. The water table is very high right now to start my uh, deep well, well points. Uh, Greg, I'm going to refer you, I'm going to refer this over to our attorneys, along with our engineers, uh, because July, no, July 16th is not going to be accepted okay. for this board. Uh, you know, this project here uh, is a project that should have been, in my opinion, completed a month, maybe. I know that we've had a lot of water out there, and given, you know, the, the, the amount of rain we've had, but now you want another to a good month before you start uh, it's just not acceptable it's just not acceptable it's not acceptable to the citizens it's not acceptable to this board so uh, i'm hoping that uh, you can get together with the engineers from h Roche office our, our manager here our attorneys here and you guys come up with a solution that is better than than what you just offered. Right. I was just hoping for the water level, or the river level, to go, you know, go down. And, and, so and, and the problem with that is that sometime <laughs> in the month of July, August, every time in September and October, that that river level is still high. Right. Am I right or wrong? Well, I know it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee that that river level that. will be will be lowered by then. And, uh, I, you know, I, I, I know that you all have submitted a bid, and, um, and you seem like a fine gentleman, and, and uh, you've, uh, uh, you know, I know individuals that have spoke very, very highly of your work. You've done some other projects for us. You've done some projects uh, for us right now, but on this particular project, it's just you're just not getting the done, the job done. Yeah. You're just not getting the job done. Uh, so if uh, if you don't mind, if you can come up with a suitable, more suitable solution than what you just given this board between now and next week, uh, attorney, engineers, Denny, then we could take another look at it. Uh, uh, as I stated, uh, uh, it may be one of these projects uh, that you may have to just walk away from. And, and, and we call it another contract to get this done. Because those individuals that's been living out there, that's been living out there with this problem here, and, and, and of course we know that you're not the original contractor. We're aware of that. The original contractor actually passed away on the job. And we, we, we're sorry uh, for him and his family. And you're the, you're the, you're the second contractor out there. But you've had this project now for, has it been, you say, how long now? Before I've actually started on this side. Yes, yeah, but you've had, you won the bid over sites. a year ago. And you yes, won the bid over yeah. a year ago. Yes. And, 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 and I know you started uh, the project on Dora. You, fit, you had one of the names that you've completed, Church Road. You have a couple more projects for Common Field. Uh, and, and we're very satisfied with the projects on Dora. We're very satisfied with the projects on Church Road. Uh, uh, but however, this particular project is causing you some problems. And it's causing you, you know, it's just not acceptable for this board. Okay. And it's not acceptable for the people who, who have to live in that area. Okay? okay. And I don't, you know, mean to uh, call you out in a public meeting. But, 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 but we got to get this done. Okay? Okay, so why don't the attorneys, why don't you all meet with him and uh, then, then engineer and see if we can come up with some solution to get this problem done. Uh, you know, it's just been out there too long. Okay? Yes, okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> next on the agenda is uh, any comments from visitors? I have one. Good evening. Can you state your name and the phone number? John Craft. Okay. Phone number's there. Um, 
I'm co-founder of the Edgar County Watchdogs. We started in Edgar County. We move all over the state, look at local public bodies, and we haven't really been down in this area. Uh, generally, it's Edgar County, Clark County, Douglas, DuPage, Airport, Ford, Cook County, and a couple others up there. But I saw a video, I think it was from the last meeting, that offended me so bad that I had to come down and see it for myself. And it's the setup of this boardroom. Um, the, there's people out there I know they can't hear everything. There's people I know out there I know they can't see everything in here. And and, and the law requires uh, accommodating the public that show up to your meeting. Uh, there's no option. There's a, I gave your attorney the you know, the Gerwin decision on on uh, uh, improper access to public meetings um, with. Advance notice, you're required to move. Go ahead, sir. With advance notice, you're required to move to an to an area large enough to accommodate the people that that say they're going to show up. Now, preferably, you would you know take out that section of wall and that section of the wall and put two more double doors or something so people can see and hear what's going on, or have your meeting in a different room. Um, it was just. I look at public bodies all over the place. I don't want to come down here again, and, and I might. I don't know if I will or not. But it's, it's it was just so offensive to me to watch that video. As all I could do to keep from grabbing my computer screen and throwing it through the wall. It was that offensive. And I've never saw any public taxpayers treated the way it appeared that they're treated. And it appears that way right now by standing out in the hallway when the meetings in here. And, that, and that's all I got. And I would hope that you would rectify it by enlarging the door or moving to a different room or something. Okay. Well, Mr. Kraft, uh, normally uh, we ask citizens to state their names and a phone number and normally the manager will get back in touch with you, but I will answer your question since you come so far. Uh, number one, you're welcome to come here anytime, so anytime you feel the need to make that drive, please do so. Also, this building has been here for over 40 years. Uh, I've been on this board for six years. And we normally have a crowd like this once every six years. So we haven't had a crowd like this probably in the last six years. And mainly along, around election times, it gets like this. So I think this building will be okay, but we will refer that to our attorneys. Could you check that matter out? Uh, I have an I will. Oh, you have? I will issue a letter of opinion to the board for okay. consideration. Thank you. Any other comments? Sure. Yes, I'm a member of Point Man. My name is Tom Carter. Uh, we're from uh, Benton, Illinois. My uh, phone number is 663-5022. Uh, being hard of hearing, i got several other members there that's hard of hearing. Uh, with the setup here, trying to hear around the frameworks and everything, I would think that the sound system would be appropriate too. Okay. Again, feel free to come from Benton. Yes. This place has been here for 40 years, and uh, we think it accommodates the citizens quite well, and uh, we'll refer it to our term. Any other comments or questions? I'd like to make a comment. Please do so. State your name and the phone number we can reach you. My name is Donna Ayers, 337-5054-618-960-7540. Uh, Let me start by saying, uh, you haven't been at the site. I've been there every day. I think you're Malcolm McClack. I think you've taken money that doesn't belong to you. You've had plenty of opportunities to get the job done, and all you have is rusty equipment inside the puddle. The Amelia has been flooded. Judith has been flooded. Violet has been flooded. I addressed the board uh, two months ago, and he said, Mr. Senior McCall said you were going to be there the next following day, and you weren't. I have been there every day. I have pictures, I have videos, the grass is taller than I am. So if you don't mind, I'll answer one of your I have nothing to do with streets flooding. This is what I'm doing as a sanitary sewer project, not a surface drainage project. You pump it out of that hole and it goes down the street on the million. It when, ends up when going we are doing the dewatering this big. There's tadpoles this big. Tadpoles this big sitting on the pipes. You haven't done anything. The equipment's rusty. You can't even see your trailer anymore. You got a backhoe sitting right there. You can't even see it. 
this up and we'll go to the next one. <laughs> Feces behind Laura Lee, 84, all the way down. All you hear is a bubbling, 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 bubbling. I know that you all would not like that behind your backyard with children, parents, elderly. I actually brought you guys some water and I would like to know if you'd like to drink the water. Because let me tell you how they drink it. They freeze it so they don't have to smell it. That's their way of getting it down and throwing bleach in it, a teaspoon of bleach in it and boiling it so they can drink it. Their houses are smelling. Their backyards have feces in it. And if you don't know where it's at, it's on Lord Lee, where the little gate's at. It has killed everything in sight. It's even eaten up the wooden fence slides for privacy fences. It's not like y'all don't know about it. Okay. It's you've had a lot of complaints. You have two minutes. Anything else? Okay. Oh, thank thank you. Okay. All right. Anybody? Any other comments? We have a motion, a second for adjournment. We have one minute. Go. State your name. No, no. We only have two minutes. Though. If you can get them out in two minutes, you can. Okay. Jerry and Spicer, six one eight six zero four one four four two. I want to know why I have to, in order to get the water changed to my name, I have to make a new deposit. My husband's been dead 11 years. I've been paying the bill for 11 years. And you're going to make me pay a new deposit to get it changed to my name? In, what else? What other question you have? And, um, Can you get back with her? Okay. I have two water bills. One that we do April 1st. Have you spoke with, have you called and spoke with anybody? I have. And who did you speak with? I don't remember, but both of these bills, I was gone half of the month. The, the amount, it's, it's not the amount of the bill. One bill, it says I use 800 gallons of water. I was gone half that month. And no, I don't have a leaky toilet because I turn them off when I'm gone. The bill that was due May 5th or May 6th says I use 1,300 gallons of water. Again, I was gone half of that month. It's not the amount of the bill because the amount is always the same. I just don't understand how they calculate the water usage, especially when I'm not home and I turn all my water off, even my washing machine. Okay. So, Mr. Trader will be getting back in touch with you, Ms. Spice. Yeah, okay, well, Thank you. The Any other questions? There's no other questions or comments. Can I have a motion and second for adjournment? Motion. It's been moved. Can I have a second? Second. <laughs> All in favor? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.